Hello guys, I'm Metro. welcome back to my channel. Ranged attacks play a crucial role in many games, providing players with the ability to engage enemies from a distance. Whether it's in first person shooters, role playing games or strategy games, ranged attacks offer a variety of gameplay dynamics. If you have ever played games like Hollow Knight or even Cuphead, you know what I'm talking about, because the ability to shoot enemies whether with spells or bullets is fundamental to these games. So in this video we will focus on how to make our player shoot enemies in Godot 4, so let's start. Okay, so here we have a basic scene, I have my player, I have Gravit, basically a simple enemy that I made. I can show you how to make that in the next video if you want, but here we will be focused on how we can throw something. In this case, since I'm using a pirate, I'm gonna throw a knife. So yeah, first let's create a new scene and we're gonna create our knife. I'm using an asset pack called uh, Treasure Hunters by Pixel Frog. It's the same pack that I've used in the last video. If you want, you can check it. But yeah, start by using a character body 2D. And I'm gonna rename it to Knife. Save your scene to your folder. And add an uh, uh, animated sprite 2D. Go to your inspector and, uh, and let's create a new animation. Okay. So here in my art folder, I have three sword animations. I have the spinning one, I have the idle, and I have the embedded. But since I'm only throwing the knife, I'm just going to use the spinning one. So just drag your sprites here and rename it. So I'm going to put spinning. Then FPS. And I want it to whoop. And I want it to auto, auto play on world. So basically, when we start our scene, this animation is gonna play so let's run this current scene here and as you can see the sword it's spinning but now we need the, to code this so go to knife and add the new script we're gonna use the default template so we just have the process and the ready function and you can do it this and create the physics process because we want it to run every frame now declare two variables that's going to be very important that is the speed one variable speed and it's going to be 300 and the val so val it's basically its velocity and it's going to determine the direction and the magnitude of your speed so to do that we go to the physics process function and write move local x so we are moving our knife in the x-axis and we're gonna do a uh, val multiplying by speed multiplying by delta okay so this is all we need but even if you try to run this in it's gonna be still that's because we need to declare the val variable and that's basically all we, we need to do for a knife so now let's do so our player can throw this knife so here in our player scene we're gonna start by creating the animation so yeah just go to your animated sprite 2d and add a new animation i'm gonna name it to throw and i want it to be 10 fps and don't whoop so yeah disable that you can test it by running play but first throw your sprites here drag them and test okay it's working but now what we need to do we need to do so if our player press some key i'm gonna use e uh he throws a sword and he plays this animation so first we need to assign the key to our input map so go to project settings input map add new action and i'm gonna name it to draw add your keyboard key so i'm gonna use e assign that and close now on our code we're gonna write here if uh, our player is action just press e press one time the throw key so e the animated sprite 2d 
it's gonna play the animation so throw now if you run the game you can test it and you can see that it's kind of working but it's not finishing this animation that's because every frame we are playing the idle animation if we aren't moving so that's simple to solve just go here and create a new variable is attacking and it's gonna be false. And when we attack, I'm gonna do is attacking uh, true. And just just add a new condition on the run and idle. So if he's on floor and is attacking, it's equal to false. You can play that animation. So yeah, now if you run and press E, it's gonna play the full animation but it isn't going back to the other animations that's because we need to set the variable is attacking to false again so here we're just gonna do await animation animated sprite 2d dot animation finish so when the animation finish it's gonna wait till that and then it's gonna set is attacking to false so now you can test it and it's gonna work see the animation is playing Okay, now what we can do? Now we need to spawn the, sw the sword, the knife that we just created. So go to top and create a new var variable and it's gonna be already var knife in my case. And it's gonna be equals to preload and drag your sin. So, on ready, it's basically when this node gets called, when our player enters the scene, it's gonna preload the knife scene so we can instantiate it. So, how can we instantiate it? So, it's simple, just go here on our throw uh, if and create a new variable. I'm gonna call it k and it's gonna be equal to knife dot instantiate. But now we need to decide something. Where do we want to shoot your knife and uh, which direction it's going to go? So just go to your player and add a new marker to D. That's going to be our position, the shot position, rename it, of which our knife is going to go. So here, I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to add a new node called flip. Because if my player goes to the left, this shot position is going to stay on the right. So I want to flip all. all. I want to flip everything, not just the uh, any animated sprite 2D. So just drag everything into the flip parent. And then here on your rotate, just instead of uh, flipping the animated sprite 2D, you just do flip dot scale x is equal to one and flip dot scale x gonna equal to minus one and you need to change everything that you called here to flip dot uh it's simple just twist and if you run your game it's gonna be working see okay now that we have everything just go to the uh, throw function and write that so k dot pos uh, global position it's gonna be equal to our shot position dot global position and k dot fell the direction it's gonna be equal to the scale of our flip so if we are turning right, it's going to be one, so it goes right. And if we are turning left, it's going to be left, so it's go uh, minus one. So just do flip dot scale dot text. And then we, we want to spawn this knife, so just to get parent dot add child, and we're going to add k. Okay, so this should be working. Just run your game. And as you can see, it's throwing a knife, but it has some delay that doesn't fit the game. So to solve that, just move this is attacking and animation to the bottom.
And if you run your game, as you can see, it's much smoother. But here's a bonus. If you don't want your player to uh, basically spam these knives, you can add a cooldown. And you, could, you can do this by different ways. Uh, some people like to use a timer to separate the time uh, when you can shoot these knives. But uh, since I'm using this weight here, I can do a simple code. Uh, and I just I can just do a variable can shot, and that's a boolean, and it's gonna be equal to true when we start a game. And here when we shot, it's gonna be false. So can shot, it's gonna be false. And when our animation finish, we can shot again. So can shot is equal to true. And if you run a game, you see you have a time to spam. And that's basically it. If you want to uh, increase the countdown time, just create a timer and go to node. And on the uh, timer finish, uh, just change the can shot to true. That's basically it. And thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, this is the end and thanks for the, all, all the support that you guys gave me through these 4 months that I haven't posted. If you have more ideas to videos, please comment uh, down there. And that's it. Like and subscribe and see you in the next video.